Hi everyone, and welcome to the Arne and Carlos Advent Calendar 2023 with your hosts Arne and Carlos. And we hope you enjoyed episode one, which was yesterday. Today we are jumping right into episode two. And if you are new here, uh, you might need to know that this calendar this year is a reveal of a Christmas stocking that we are knitting together with you guys. So it's a knit along with a Christmas stocking, and we are revealing the design in increments, small increments. Day by day, six rounds, that's all you need to knit, and uh, the result will be fabulous. We can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, you hope so. <laughs> yeah. We think it's fabulous. We think it's really fabulous. <laughs> so yeah, this is a tradition that we've had now. Uh, this is the fourth year running, yeah. and uh, we really do love coming in every day to give you a little bit of a, um, a break in your busy life. Uh, yeah. Just sit down, join us for a little knit, and uh, make something fun for Christmas. That's yeah. what it's all and, about. And then Anna had put some comments in our Advent sweaters, yes. which we will, we will reveal every day. Every day. So yeah. that could be comments or questions. I don't know. We haven't read them. No, no, no. I'm, they're all a surprise. I don't know what's in there. So, but they're in the bag. Yeah, they're in the little, uh, they're in the little sweaters. <laughs> the sweater. So uh, there's lots of knits, obviously, lots of patterns, and you can get all our patterns at arnacarlos.com. You can go to our online shop, you can get Christmas balls, you can get Christmas stockings, you can get the advent sweaters. There's a whole lot of patterns there. The only one you can't get on our web shop is the pattern for the knit along. That one you go to the blog and you download for free. Yeah. And it will remain free until December 26th. So you've got plenty of time to get your pattern and to knit together with us. And uh, hopefully by December 25th, you'll have a fabulous stocking. And so will we. <laughs> and so will we. Yeah. <laughs> and I think yesterday, yesterday we talked about uh, your book. Mm -hmm. And I have been out, I've been shopping because every year there are these uh, beautiful Christmas magazines mm. you can get in Norway. Yeah, they're lovely. And we usually, usually we buy this one, Jule Fryd, and this one is called Jule Roser. Yeah, this so is Christmas like Christmas roses. roses. This one is really nice yeah. because there's always some pictures from artists mm. and then you have these, they are like, you have this one you can take out and frame yeah. it if you want to. So yeah. this is very cool. These are great little magazines to get us in the Christmas mode. We always buy them early on in yeah. the season um, and then we go through them and enjoy enjoy the, yeah, the inspiration and yeah. the stories and all that. I think they're always nice to pull out every Christmas. We have a yeah. pile of these and it's nice to put these things out when you wait mm. for Christmas. Yeah. And in this one actually there was a story about uh, your book yeah. which we talked about yesterday. So the Christmas book. Nowadays it's a tradition uh, that is not being upheld the way it was in the past. I think Halloween has taken over that because mm. the tradition of the Yule book, which is what you do after Christmas Eve, so on, on the 26th, 27th, is you dress up and you go and you sing and you ask for sweets. Yeah, so you play songs and you sing. It's more or less the same. It's like a, it's like a mash between yeah. Halloween and Christmas carols, you know what I mean? <laughs> You go and you sing. You, yeah, you, but you're not supposed to scare people. No, no. You're just going to go walk around and you knocked mm. on people's doors and you were singing. And hopefully you got some. Yeah. In the, old days, in the old days, it was because you hid behind a mask of a buck. Yeah. So that Usually was it was the horns and there was the fur and, you, and, and there was a stick. And so you disguise yourself and then you'd sing. Actually, in this one, there's a really... This is from a Swedish... My, Swedish... Magazine, magazine yeah, I guess, yeah. from 1910. And yeah. in this one, you can actually see how this person like. has has put on this buck mask mm. and then he's hiding under. Yeah. So this is a very old tradition in Norway yeah. and in Sweden. And here you see a little Christmas elf wearing grey, uh, which is more of the Christmas elf uh, traditional color. Arne is uh, attempting... And I have not found a grey hat. Yeah, but... This, had this one a red hat or a grey hat? A red hat. And Arne is attempting to look like a very old-fashioned uh, Christmas elf wearing a Santa Star sweater. I'm more of the hip trendy one wearing yeah, like a 1950s more, yeah a 1950s sweater yeah. <laughs> they are not that hip no, anymore <laughs> not that hip and here we've got another little elf uh, as you can see these are our christmas elves they're slightly different from the santa claus that we're all used to nowadays because that's the coca-cola 
Santa Claus. Yeah, well, that's that's what he's called, yeah. I guess. So anyway, so, um, <laughs> so at some point in history, originally you had that stick with the buck on it and you hid behind it. And then that kind of evolved into costumes. We were talking about Arne's brother wearing a Santa outfit yesterday. Um, I know that you uh, pretended to be a robber once. You put on um, your mom's stockings. No, I just tried to be... Um... I tried not to be recognized. Oh, okay. You were just... It was not a robber. It was, uh, I tried not to be recognized. So you put on a nylon stocking over yeah, your face. Yeah, and you changed my face. Well, which they do. Everything was pushed in. Yeah, and then you were doing that in minus 30. Very cold. And, but we were still afraid of dar the dark. So we, we never walked more than where we actually could see the light from our house or the neighbor's yeah. house. Actually, there was a black part when the light didn't hit and we run from that to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I've done it and we had a lot of people yeah. coming to our house when we were kids. Yeah. And they, I don't know what they were doing. Yeah. You know, maybe they sang. I remember there was one couple, they were like, they were old hippies. Mm. And they were in our house every, every day because they thought my family was hippies. Probably, yeah. <laughs> because there were so many people living yeah. in the house. And but, they came, I yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking but, about this whole Christmas thing because, you know, the first 24 days of December, you're so busy. Well, 23. You're so busy doing all your preparations. You're doing your baking. You're figuring out your Christmas decorations. You're figuring out all the gifts you have to buy. You know, it is a cra it's a frenzy. <laughs> and then when you finally can relax, then people start knocking at your door and you start having visitors every and you day. You have to open. We you don't can op open for friends yeah. and family. We but if the, your book comes, you can pretend you're not at home. Yeah. I sometimes say we don't open, but we always do. But we don't have a lot of people coming. No, around. luckily we if, don't. If there was a Euro book knocking on this door, I would be very afraid, actually. Yeah. Because there's no people around. There's no people. That's true. No, no one that will walk like that. Mm. That's true. So, and we don't have Halloween here either, because there's no kids around. Yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, nobody comes trick-or-treating here. I would be afraid if a, a clown yeah, but, but, but was standing in front of, you know, at if night. If we had that, I would do like the, the, the couple in Modern Family. Mm. Oh, what's, yeah. what's their name again? I don't remember, but they do love scaring them they each scare other. They scare each yeah. other. That's funny. Yeah. Can you imagine lying somewhere in the garden and just popping up like a clown or a ghost? I, I, could, not I could not imagine. I would be so that scared. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, Arne, we're talking about Halloween when we're supposed to be talking about Christmas. As you all know, these podcasts are pre-recorded. Uh, we pre-record them. Um, this one we're recording in November. Um, but you know what? It's not very difficult to get into the Christmas spirit because look at outside, Arne, how beautiful yeah, it is right now. We have so much snow already. Yeah, we've already gotten a white Christmas uh, a month before Christmas. So yeah. it's pretty awesome and amazing. We that had half a meter while we were in Japan. Mm. And then it sunk a little bit because it, it, it was mild again, but we still have almost half a meter. We do, yeah. So, so we, we are getting easily into the Christmas spirit as we record these podcasts for you. Now, the whole goal of this advent calendar is doing a knit along. And I think it's time, Arne, to reveal yeah. the clue of today and talk a little bit about how our knitting is going. I mean, I'm taking a little bit longer, me an hour and a half or something, but you're doing pretty well, pretty quickly. Yeah. But it's not about how fast you are. You just have to finish six rounds every day. Yeah. So, so let's do a drum roll. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, drum roll. Okay. There. <laughs> Oops, uh, the whole camera started moving. <laughs> so this is two days. And you can start to see there's a pattern, but I think you need to finish day number three, and then you will see something that I see. I'm not sure if you see something. Well, here. Arnett, we're only in day number two right now. Yeah, so but you, tomorrow. Yeah, but we're not on tomorrow. Today we're today. Yeah, and tomorrow today will be tomorrow. See. So uh, we, Maybe you can see what's coming. Well. What we can see right now is a traditional Norwegian pattern of some sort. It is. Uh, what it is and what it's going to be, nobody knows. What December 3rd is going to bring, nobody knows on December 2nd. Uh, so don't jump into conclusions and run too fast, Arne, because we have to, you know, be on December 2nd. No, but two. I just said, maybe you don't see it today, maybe you will see it tomorrow. And we will see tomorrow. We'll see, but maybe you see it now. Yeah, the mystery will be revealed tomorrow. It's kind of hard to see what this Let is. Let me see. 
but it, it, I see something else there. Well, I see a pattern that is sort of a fair isle, traditional Norwegian, not fair isle, but color work. So, and it's gonna probably be a traditional pattern. I don't I know what the, you guys I see. Think it will be something. But tell us in the comments field what you see. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be something. And tomorrow, on, uh, on December 3rd, we will reveal. Then, all. then I can explain. Then you can explain. Because if you can't see it now, maybe you see it tomorrow. Maybe you'll see it tomorrow. But even if you explain what it is, you won't know the result. No, no, because no. Because no, it's is still early days. Bit. Very early days. Anyway, we're doing this in increments and you've got six uh, rounds per day, which is doable in, in a certain amount of time, as, as we've already discussed. And uh, if you are following us now and doing it at the same time, um, when you finish today, this is what you'll have, a little tip with a little Norwegian color work pattern that nobody knows what is <laughs> oh, right <exactly>. now. <laughs> That's how we're gonna leave it, Arne. Don't go to December so 3rd yet. No, 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 but that's it for today. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now I feel like I'm, 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 in, I'm starting to get in the Christmas mood now because I have these magazines. Yeah. So, I'm going to read about everything. Absolutely. So guys, uh, all you need to do now is go to arnecarlos.com, visit our blog, upload uh, or download today's chart. It's a PDF, so you can save it in your computer and you can knit uh, the second uh, clue or the second part of the knit along. Um, and we can't wait to come in on December 3rd to show you a new uh, <laughs> pattern. It feels like you want to show it today. No, I don't want to show anything. I just show this today, <laughs> but I'm saying I see something here that you might not see because I know what's coming. Yeah, but I know what's coming too. And I see something here and I want everybody to see something yeah. too. So tell us what you see. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll f oh, I saw a horse yeah. and a carriage oh. and Cinderella. Yeah, I saw a pumpkin. A pumpkin <laughs> and a, a bird. All will be revealed in due course. Oh, so stupid. Yeah, so, oh, okay. yeah, very stupid. <laughs> so hold your horses oh. and tomorrow we'll mm. see, we'll yeah, see, what see what tomorrow's happens. clue is. Yeah. Now, in the tradition of our uh, Christmas calendar, we do want to keep all of you engaged and involved. So I am now going to pull out the two um, comments, comments that we've got on today's sweater, the advent sweaters uh, that you can also knit if you want. For 2nd um, of December. And inside we've got two comments, is one for Arne and one for me that we're going to be reacting to. And this is a great way to include all of you in, um, in our so daily start calendar. So you with one and see if it's yours or if it's mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading this out for you. Yeah, okay. It's from Paula Phillips, 160, and this was um, posted six months ago. Hi, Paula. Um, hi, Paula. Oh my, thank you both so much for taking the time to do this video. Um, yes, we do. Sit in it for a bit. Okay. I laughed so hard that I cried. Your facial expressions while trying to toast and Vegemite oh, were absolutely yeah. the best. And thank you to everyone who brought treats and goodies to share with Arne and Carlos. <laughs> oh, so sweet. I'm fun. sure if it was a fun trip. <laughs> that was so fun. That was on Liberty, didn't it? Yeah. Care to explain to everybody? <laughs> we got that Vegemite from our friend from Australia. From Debra. Debra from Australia. And we never heard about it wait, wait, before. Let me pronounce it. It's Vegemite. 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 And we, we, we had to try it <laughs> in our room during sit on it for a bit. And I think I think that was some the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. It wasn't that bad. And we learned there is some there's something similar in England. And Nagita, who travels with us, she loves it. So I think the British one was Marmite. Marmite, maybe. And, and I think the Australian one, Vegemite. Yeah. And, and Vegemite. Gita loved it, so she, she, she got it because we yeah. had only that bite you saw yeah, and sit it, on it for a bit, and that was more than yeah. enough. We, uh, in Norway, we have cod oil. That's what we eat. It's from the liver. <laughs> cod liver oil. That's what we do. They do Vegemite, we do cod liver oil. Yeah. They're both special. Yeah, anyway, we got the Vegemite and we thought we'd. <laughs> Test it and well, so during our sit and knit for a bit podcast, which we did. <laughs> and then I saw the commercial on YouTube for it. <laughs> Where she might put roses in your shin or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> the cuddle does it that sure too. It sure did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that, that was a fun thing. Okay, that's no, that's the one. This is the one I'm gonna have. Mm -hmm. So this is from um, sitting for a bit from Svalbard from uh, Marina Cosgrove 4245, five months ago. You two bring me such joy hearing Arne chuckling the whole time. Well, I do chuckle a lot mm. as Carlos gets hotter and hotter. <laughs> and you do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right up, <laughs> sir. Uh, and I am so amazed by the beauty of Svalbard, that canyon with those rock walls, heaven on earth. Thank you so much for showing us something new. Yeah, 2023 yeah. is the year when we went to Svalbard three times. The first time we went to Svalbard was in March. And in March it was bloody cold and uh, I mean it wasn't actually that cold. But the no, winds, not in temperature but in wind. The, the winds wind. from the North Cold were freezing yeah. and when it hit my face. So I was pretty much well dressed from top to toe. But I had the opening here from the balaclava. And when the hit, wind hit my glasses and, my, and that part it felt like a sinus yeah. infection. Yeah. So Arne and I, we went a little cray cray when we went shopping <laughs> and we bought a lot of <laughs> gear, a lot of gear, among other things, sleeping bags for our hands. But they are so good. And, and you know, we went to Oslo a few days ago and it was freezing cold. And yeah. next time we go there, we will have those sleeping bags on our hands. Definitely. But, but in Svalbard, you really need a lot. You because do. It, it's windy and it's quite cold actually. Yeah. So, so in my in in uh, in the tutorial for or sorry in the sit in it for a bit from Svalbard, which was published probably in uh, mid March of this year, um, I decided to do a whole demonstration of how to dress for the Arctic. <laughs> so I'm putting on my lay. I start with underwear and a, a t-shirt, and then you know by the time I'm finished, I am wearing so many layers and I'm so hot that I'm passing out. Yeah, but. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that was funny. That was funny. Right. Yeah. yeah, I think you scare a lot of people from going there when they Probably, see that video. Yeah. But you know what? But, it's still worth going to yeah. Svalbard. And then the next time we were there was during the midnight sun in August, and it was so warm we were sitting with a t-shirt. We were sitting in t-shirts outside. outside on the cafe having coffee. Yeah, and it was so was hot. I took away. I, I saw a puffin. Yeah, my first puffin. Yeah, I saw that in they're in, so cute. In we were sitting mm. outside on the puffing cane. Anyway, it is really cool that, um, that we've got these <laughs> Advent sweaters and that we can pull out comments every day and reminisce, you know, of 2023, which has been quite an okay year, yeah. um, you know, for most parts, except yeah. maybe the issues with my poor mother yeah. and her Alzheimer's. And all the renovation we did. And all the renovations. But also, the, the renovations is something you do and you look forward to the results. Yeah, so um, all in all, it's been very good. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, you've got today's uh, clue and this is what it looks like now. I'm sure you're all trying to guess what it is and, you know, put it in the comments if you if you think you know, um, if you see what we see. Um, and December 3rd is coming tomorrow. It's Arne. coming tomorrow. So on December 3rd, we will reveal the next clue. So all you need to do is stay put. Remember to go download your patterns because they're not going to be there until, um, sorry, they're not going to be there after December 26th. So it's now or never, right? Yeah. yeah. And we've got this great competition going. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Yes. The competition this year is split in two. We have one competition going from the 1st of December to the 12th of December. And then we will launch another competition on the 13th of December and it goes until the 24th of December. So two completely separate competitions. That means that on December 13th, which is La Santa Lucia, we will press stop <laughs> and we will start again. Yeah. And uh, in order to become eligible for the competitions, you need to answer a question. It will be two different questions and you are eligible to win two completely different prices. I can't wait to tell you what the prices are, but we're only going to tell you the prices for the first competition right now. And you have to wait until December 13th to find out the second price. Yeah. And what's the question, Carlos? The question is uh, for the first 12 days of Christmas is when was Arne and Carlos founded? We're looking for the year. Which year was Arne and Carlos founded? The answer may possibly be available on our website. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or on, you know, somewhere else. And Arnett, tell everybody what they're eligible to win. You can win 
all the yarn you need for one sweater from Hillesvåg Ullvare fabric in Norway. That's our Norwegian favorite. Yes, absolutely. You will be able to choose enough yarn to knit yourself a sweater. Any sweater that you want. We're not going to give you the pattern, but we're going to give you the yarn. You can choose all between all the qualities that they have and you can even choose from their humongous color chart or color card. It's going to be a really beautiful sweater of your choice in the color of your choice. So this is a really nice price. We're talking minimum 10, 100 gram skeins of yarn. That's one kilo of yarn. Now the answer to the question uh, is something you can write down on the comments below. And uh, in the end of the advent calendar, uh, probably in the new year, we will randomly select a lucky winner from December 1st until December 12th who is eligible to win the prize or who will win the prize. It's only one prize. Yeah. Uh, and then um, starting December 13th, we will do a new competition, a new question and a new prize. And it's completely different to this prize. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that prize either because no. it's also amazing. So that's it for now. And if you like our videos, put your thumbs up and be a subscriber and put on the notifications if you're a subscriber, because then you won't miss the episode. Yes, and the mailing list is really the best way to stay in touch with us and keep up with our shenanigans. And if you want additional content, uh, please consider becoming a member. You can do so by going to our YouTube channel, looking for the subscribe button and then clicking on the button next to it, which is the join button. If you become a YouTube member of the Arne and Carlos family, you will receive um, lots of perks and benefits, including uh, live streams where we give you our knitting help. There are monthly shenanigans and cooking episodes. There are weekly 15 minute updates, uh, usually in the beginning of the week and lots and lots of fun, including emojis and other things that you really don't want to live without. <laughs> so thank you for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.